Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Now, somehow there is a sequel to this movie, to the last movie. Somehow the parents are even more responsible again. Dude, they really must not give a fuck about Kevin if they, if they lose him again, especially in New York. Like, come on, I, what are we doing here? <laughs> like, especially after losing him in the last movie, you're going to keep an extra close eye on him for like the next five years minimum. It's not bad, it's, it's practically just like ice right now, but it's not bad. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next couple of Christmas movies that I do will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. I'm on Disney Plus right now, and who the fuck is this kid in Home Alone 3? There's a different kid in Home Alone 4. And then you got Home Alone, The Holiday Heist, Home Sweet Home Alone. Okay, that's where it ends, but Jesus, they really couldn't let this franchise die, could they? He's just jealous because he can't tan. His freckles just connect. He's <laughs> gonna use that later, huh? Honey, are you packed yet? He doesn't know how to pack. Yes. <laughs> oh, why do we have to go to Florida? There's no Christmas trees in Florida. Kevin, what is it with you and Christmas trees? It's the Christmas spirit. How could you have Christmas without a Christmas tree, Mom? Yeah. Or decorate a palm tree. It's not the same. Palm tree would not be the same. Oh, they're gonna oversleep again, aren't they now? And they're gonna be, oh, yep, shit, yep. Clock reset. They're gonna oversleep again. They're gonna wake up late and be in a rush again and then forget Kevin. He says if I walked in there and saw him naked, I grew up never feeling like a real man. <laughs> Bro, there's a shower curtain. It's not. Oh, it's kind of see through. Never mind. He's gonna record his singing. Get out of here, you nosy know, little pervert, or I'm gonna slap you silly! Kevin Solo's coming out. Don't tell us. Oh, he's got a solo? Christmas time means laughter. Okay. Rip. I'd like to apologize to my family for whatever displeasure I might have caused you. Who's making you say this? I'd also like to apologize to my brother. This is gonna be some backhand shit. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, boss. Sorry you were born or some shit. Kevin, do you have something to say? <sighs> yeah, fuck all of you. <laughs> Beat that, you little trout sniffer. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I did what I did because Buzz humiliated me. And since he gets away with everything... I'd like to apologize to absolutely no one. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f*** he wants. I don't care if your idiotic Florida trip gets wrecked or not. Who wants to spend Christmas in a tropical climate anyway? Yeah, like who intentionally wants to go to Florida? I hear you sleep on the third floor. Yeah, with me. <laughs> I feel like he's cool. I wouldn't want to spoil your fun, Mr. Cheapskate. What a troubled young man. Shut the fuck up. His brother's such an ass. He didn't mean what he said. He was just sucking up to you. Yeah, and you monkeys fell for it. To apologize to Buzz and to the rest of the family, you can come to him. I'd rather kiss a toilet seat. Mm-hmm, tell him. Appear the rest of the night. Fine! I don't want to be down there anyway. I can't trust anybody in this family. If I had my own money, I'd go on my own vacation. Alone. Well, you got your wish last year. Maybe you'll get it again this year. I hope so. Yeah, dude, there's no... F there's absolutely no possible way the mom leaves for this trip to Florida without grabbing Kevin. She probably does make sure, but then, I don't know, they probably get separated at the airport and he takes, like, the wrong flight. <laughs> Escape during prison riot? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is with everyone doing that? Ten. How come none of us are sitting? Twelve. Thirteen. Who's the f yep, okay, she sees the name. Kevin? Yep. Oh, he's up 14. here. Okay. Oh, okay, he's there. Okay. Just in case you guys try to ditch me. Mm. Okay, okay. They didn't forget it this time. Jesus. Thank you. Hey, you better hurry up. It's the Thank last you. gate all the way down. Mm. I love the music though. That, like, during this is sick. It's John Williams, so makes sense why I'd like it. 
Oh no, the, no, he can't keep up. Kevin, wait, no, what are you doing? Flight 226 to New York is now in the final board. Oh, he probably thinks that guy's his dad, huh? You could have done it on the plane. Dad, wait! Let me just make sure everyone gets on. Come on. Don't worry, man. We'll get everybody on the plane. Okay, yeah. They're just looking at your ticket. You're good. You're Okay. Wait! Ooh! Okay, board him. But make sure he locates his family before you leave him. C'est la première fois que je viens en Amérique. Tu peux pas me dire, toi, un peu? Sure. Bon restaurant. Seulement, peut-être. We forgot something? No, no. We, did buy it. we did everything. We brought mm. everything. We have everybody. You didn't forget. You were just in such a rush. You lost. Well, okay. Low key, this is Kevin's fault too because he stopped to replace the battery. Like dog, you could have just done that when you got on the plane. Like you didn't have to do it at the moment you did. Okay. But he's a kid. And he doesn't know better. So <laughs> the mom should have made sure. Like again, like she should have checked. Like, okay, is everyone with us? Okay. Like, every. But I, I would say this time it's. 50 50, honestly. Give this to Kevin. Give this to Kevin. Give this. Give this to Kevin. Here you go, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's not here. Kevin's not here. Kevin's not here. <laughs> she didn't realize right away. What? Yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Damn. Sir? What should you say over there? That's New York, sir. Who's <gasps> it? Yep. She's like, what do you mean again? No, my family's in Florida and I'm in New York. My family's in, in Florida. Florida. And I'm, I'm in, in, New in New York. New York? Mmm, they're in New York too. New York City, the land of opportunity. Oh, it's gonna be real awkward when they run the cabin. Besides, now we got our new nickname. No! We're the Sticky Bandits! Shut them! No! Do not have a signature move this time either. Sick! Hey, it's New York for you, dude. Oh, yep, here, here we go. It was, it was inevitable. Oh, yep. I saw something. Jesus. Serves you right. Come on, let's go. I honestly wish the title of this movie didn't have Lost in New York in it, because I would have had no idea he goes to New York then. And I never then I wouldn't have guessed that he gets on the wrong flight. Like that was a dead giveaway. Once you know the family's going Excuse to Florida, me. then it's like, oh Kevin's in down the hall and to the left. Thanks. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, once like okay, you know the family's going to Florida. The movie's called Lost in New York. You know somehow Kevin gets to New York then, so that was the most random fucking cameo I've ever seen in my life. Hi. Can I oh. help you? She looks mean. Reservation from McAllister. Mm, okay. A kid going into a hotel making a reservation. Mm. I don't think so. I'm confused. I'm traveling with my dad. He's at a meeting. I just want to check into my hotel. I can only sit in the lobby. That's boring. Mm -hmm. So my dad dropped me off here. I have one in my wallet. I don't have my wallet. Oh, he, that, oh, it's, that was his dad's credit card. And Kevin, to, yep. And for batteries, Kevin has my wallet. Okay, Do you have yep. credit cards in the wallet? Oh, that's how, yep, that's how they're going to find it. If your son has the cards, we can get a location on him when and if he uses them. Okay, perfect. No, I don't think Kevin even knows how to use a credit card. Jesus, you underestimate him so much. Jesus, oh, they're going to be so pissed. <laughs> like, they're going to be happy that they found him, but dude, what, he just run his dad's credit card, like, what, like, eight pans or something? <laughs> but they're going to be so happy that they found them, they're not going to be that mad. May I take your bag, sir? Is that full up to some villainy, too? Luxurious and spacious. <laughs> hey! <laughs> did you want me to put the key in the bag? Or did you just want to hang on to it? Okay, that was low-key kind of smooth. Not really, but that's the best he could have done. <laughs> I'm 10 years old. TV's my life. <laughs> True. Well, I'm sorry. Not tipping your ass. <laughs> Thank you. 
I mean, yeah, for rich people constantly staying here, he's probably used to getting like $200, $200 tips. God, that'd be so nice. Two scoops, sir? Two, make it three. I'm not driving. It's <laughs> make it four. <laughs> I believe you. He's gonna gun her down. <laughs> Dude, blast her, please. Just no mercy. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Kevin doesn't get that. <laughs> I'm gonna give you to the count of three. One, three. One. Three. Two. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Dude, this dude's a psycho. First, the first one in the first movie nowadays. Jesus. And a happy new year. <laughs> Oh yeah, it sounds like his dad's in there singing in the shower now. Yep, he recorded his uncle earlier. No, I'm the king of the cool <laughs> Get out of here, you nosy little pervert, or I'm gonna slap you silly. Yeah. Oh, critical time of the year. Oh, and the shitty ass Florida over here. <laughs> and this is their motel. Oh my god. Hey, Uncle Rob lives here. Oh. When they're back from Paris. I'll drop in on them. Cool. All right, that's gonna come in clutch. They usually give pretty good presents. <laughs> they usually give pretty good presents. That's how he knows them, yeah. Good night, Mom. Mm. Yeah, just Mom. Good night, Kevin. Oh, Dude, it's like in Spongebob when... <laughs> Spongebob went to the jump bucket. He's talking to Mr. Krabs. <laughs> a stove is a stove. <laughs> a limousine and a pizza. Mm. Compliments of the Plaza Hotel. Yeah, no, this dude's just gonna kiss his ass. Simply checking the room to make sure everything was in mm. order. Well, he was pretty mad. I don't think you'll see him for the rest of our trip. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good transition. He does have a big at stolen, yep. Right Let's check the car, yep, okay. Think. But the grin matched really well. Enough to knock off a toy store on Christmas Eve. Oh, yes. We empty the registers and walk out like we own the joint. Great plan, Harry. I guess. Not not really, but... It's Mr. Duncan must be a pretty nice guy. Same home. That's Mr. Duncan. Mr. Duncan is donating it to the children's hospital. Hmm, that's nice. Give this to Mr. Duncan. The hospital needs it more than I do. It's... Wow, so generous. Ah, that's... That's very sweet of you. You see that tree there? Mm -hmm. You select an object from that tree that you can take home with you. Just don't take anything over $20. <laughs> now, as long as each of you have your turtle dove, you'll be friends forever. Oh, what a wholesome moment. What a wholesome moment. Yeah, it's Mr. Yeah, that is him. Okay. And he's gone. Wow. Oh, they're both outside. <laughs> <gasps> mm, yeah. Look out. Yep. Yep. On the back bank. Hey. Look who it is, Marv. Come on. Man. What are you going to do to him in public right here in broad daylight? Hiya, pal. <gasps> mm. Hey, guys. I mean, it's New York. No one will probably give a fuck. Mm, huh? He's gonna buy it just so he can put him on the ground and they can slip on it. It's like the banana peel of Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, God, there wasn't that many on the neck of that shot right there. there <laughs> Bro, don't fucking look at me like that. Stolen credit card. <laughs> Bro, shake her shit. Shake her. Come on, juke her ass. Ooh. Yeah, imagine Kevin just hit her with a little, uh, and then shook the, shook the shit out of her. I could smell you getting off the elevator. You was here last night, too, wasn't you? Don't give me that. You've been spooching with everybody. <laughs> Snuffy, Al. This works out. Cliff? <gasps> what is his name? <laughs> Cliff. I love you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Dumbass. So Kevin's thinking. Oh, he is the rubbish. Yeah. Oh, he has the end burned in from the from the door handle. 
At midnight tonight, we're hitting Duncan's toy chest. Yeah, why the fuck are they telling them all, telling him all of this? The difference, he's not gonna talk to anybody. I mean, he's, rec he's recording all of it, so. Oh. Oh, it's the same girl, and then, yeah, she's gonna be like, you again, slop the shit out of him. Oh! He did it! Hmm, yeah, I mean, get, get his ass, too. Oh! Thanks! The kids are helpless. Yeah, not this kid. Yeah, mm -hmm. but this- This kid's built different. He's in the park, he's alone. <laughs> you imagine they're all watching Psycho. <laughs> this is she. Oh my God. What? Where? Can you use your credit card to check into the Plaza Hotel. Do they still have him? Damn it. Mm, all right, he's not even mad. All right, cool. We're going to New York. Move it. Let's go. I mean, they're rich as fuck, so it's like, yeah, it doesn't care. Yes, Kevin. Use the pigeons to your advantage. Become one with the pigeons. It's the master pigeon. Oh, oh it's the lady. <laughs> what is foot stuck? She's just gonna help him. Like she's not a psycho. Yeah, she's yeah. Exactly. The old man from the last movie. You know, like this is probably who she's supposed to be. Is like something like that. You know, like he's scared of her. She's just a harmless. Yeah, he's realizing again. He judged the last guy when he was actually pretty cool, and he's like, no, why am I afraid of her? Look, I'm sorry I screamed in your face. Mm -hmm. You're just trying to help me, right? Exactly. At first, you look kind of scary, but when I think about it, it's not so bad. They must be all over you because they like you. Am I bothering you? No. What if she was like, yeah. <laughs> this place is great. Free tickets. You bring your friends up here? I'm with my friends right now. I haven't got many friends. They prefer I wasn't part of their city. Yeah, it's sort of like that with my family. Mm. Everybody wants to be seen. And heard. What were you like before? I had a job. I had a home. I had a family. Did you... But the man I loved fell out of love with me. Oh. That broke my heart. And whenever the chance to be loved came along again, I ran away from it. I stopped trusting people. That seems like sort of a dumb thing to do. Yeah, yeah. But then you'll never find love. I'm afraid you're getting my heart broken again. Maybe they don't forget about you, but they forget to remember you. Ooh, it's kind of hard. If you aren't going to use your heart, then what's the difference if it gets broken? Better to have loved and have lost than to have loved at all. Don't be sad that it's over. Be thankful that it happened. <laughs> Your heart might still be broken, but it isn't gone. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you don't give it a second chance, you'll never find. Then you'll for sure never find love. I think it's worth worth the risk. That's okay. You're really good at it. You're not boring. You don't mumble or spit when you talk. I do. I think you just have to wear an outfit that doesn't have pigeon poop on it. <laughs> but when I'm alone, it isn't that much fun at all. I don't care how much people bug me sometimes. I'd rather be with somebody than by myself. Yeah, alone time is nice, but you do you do need to socialize. But then it's also tough when your entire family fucking hates you, so <laughs> you need to socialize with the right people. If I don't see you again, I hope everything turns out okay. Thank you. That's what I like about these movies. Very wholesome. Good lessons. I won't forget to remember you. Ooh. Don't make promises you can't keep. Oh. Nah, Kevin's gonna remember her later. Duncan's toy chest. You can mess with a lot of things. But you can't mess with kids on Christmas. Hell yeah. He's gonna hold down the toy store. Hmm. Yep. It's all flammable liquid in the toilet. What kind of hotel allows a child to check in alone? Hmm. Yeah, dumbass. The boy had a very convincing story. No, he what didn't. What kind of idiots do you have working here? When we attempted to confront him, he ran. He scared him away. It's Christmas Eve, and because of you, our child is lost in one of the biggest cities in the world. In their power to find Kevin, I want you to stay here with Frank, Leslie, and the kids. No, I'm going out to look for him. What? With all due respect, madam, your son is lost in one of the biggest cities in the world. Yeah, I just fucking said that. Madam, there are hundreds of parasites out there, armed to the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Mm. <laughs> oh, God, you ass in 4K. I'm just kidding. <gasps> oh. I'm coming, 
bro, get, just get off of it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go straight to the uncle's house. Oh, she's gonna get fucked by one of th by the traps though, because he set some stuff up here. Oh no. Hopefully not a bad. Oh, she's leaving. Okay. I was gonna say, hopefully not a bad one, but she's just about to miss Kevin though, too. Not even 10 seconds. The kid's running scared. He ain't got a plan. But since we're in a hurry, I'll make a deal with you. You throw down your camera and we won't hurt you. You'll never hear from us again. Die. Okay. He's not doing it. He's gonna throw like a bowling ball. Oh, brick. Oh. Okay, that would 100% fucking kill you. But we'll go with it. We'll go with it. You got any more? Shut the fuck up. Let me get back up. Wow. Let me get back up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. We'll go with the fact that he didn't die, but that's at least four fucking concussions. <laughs> but he has CTE now. But he got CTE after the first movie. Stop pulling it. Like, a nail gun in the ass. No way. Oh. Dude, what was that Tom and Jerry ass scream? No. Oh. oh. Ew. Ew, it's like that movie Flubber. The floor is missing. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not hot this time. Oh. What a hole. Bro, this hole just never looks down, does he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice dance. Can't trust shit in this house. Why does Kevin grow up and change his legal name to John Gramer? He's clearly talented. Oh, oh. oh he's dead. He's dead. He is dead. I dude, I really hope one of the traps just actually kills them. Like that would be that'd be kind of satisfying to be honest. But obviously they'd never do that. <gasps> Sarah's on fire again. He's not even phased by it this time because, bro, he probably lost all feeling on top of his head from last time. I hope he feels it. Oh, only because he saw it. And it, wait, that's flammable. He put flammable liquid in there. Wait, yeah, hello. Damn. Okay, I was gonna say, how the fuck did he just handstand onto that toilet that easily? Oh, was this full gymnast at one point? Why would you even bother to pull that? Like... Mm. Uh-oh. Oh. <sighs> mm. I'm gonna murder that kid. Bro, he he's murdered you like 10 times now. Somehow you're just fucking invincible. Don't you know a kid always wins against two idiots? <laughs> yeah. Don't you remember what happened last year? No. <laughs> Well, that explains a lot. This fool definitely has brain trauma. <laughs> yep. oh, he busted me. I'll get him. There's gonna be a third one. Come on, let's get him. <gasps> oh. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> Kevin, dude, it's like that fucking um thing in scary movie where she just throws a bunch of shit down the stairwell and like she throws the piano and hits the grandma. Oh yeah, they pull the doorknob and pull that shit. It's going right through the door. Oh! Oh. 
Dude, Kevin has some nuts for doing this. Bro, that's a grown ass man on that rope right there. Whoa. Nice night for a neck injury. Yeah. Suck brick, kid! Dude, he's just gonna move. Yeah. Harry? You wearing aftershave? That's not aftershave, that's kerosene. Now why would anybody soak a rope in kerosene? Oh, I wonder why. Yep. Jesus, this dude, Kevin, this is diabolical. Kevin's actually trying to fucking kill them. <laughs> I mean, obviously, with every other trap before this one, too. Oh. Pigeon lady. Oh, never mind. Pigeon lady's gonna come through. Dude, they're gonna get fucking mobbed by pigeons, aren't they? Go for a little stroll in the park. Yep, she's in the park. Oh, we're dangerous. Obviously not. Harry, shut. Oh, they're. What, what are they gonna do? Just shit all over them? I never made it to the sixth grade, kid. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're gonna eat it. <laughs> oh my god. Let him go. Oh, throw the food. Throw the food all over them, and they're all sticky. Yep. Flush out was kind of hard. <laughs> Dude, Mars goddamn screaming. Bye, thanks. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yep. Got the audio. You got all the photos. He made us hide out in the store so we could steal all the Shut kitties' up. charity money. We just broke out of prison a few days ago. Shut, Shut up, up <laughs> Marv. Marv. Dude, that's the CTE talking. That has to be. Excuse me, Mr. Duncan? Yes. I found his note. Looks like a kid broke your window. Oh, I was like, I'm sorry, Mr. Duncan. Mr. Duncan. Yeah. I broke your window to catch the bad guys. I'm sorry. Do you have insurance? <laughs> you don't. P.S. Thanks for the turtle doves. Yeah, he knows it's from Kevin because of the turtle doves. Yeah. He's not even tripping about that. I realize that, ma'am, but you're looking for a needle in a haystack. Yeah, I mean, what could they really do, you know? I'd probably be doing the same thing you're doing. Put yourself in your kid's shoes. Where would you go? What would you do? Mm hmm Me? I'd probably be lying dead in the gutter somewhere. Well, dude, that's because you have absolute... Oh, okay, okay. Kevin is so much stronger and braver than I am. Okay, okay. I was about to say, you guys sleep on Kevin so fucking hard. He's still all by himself in a big city. Yeah. He deserves to be at home with his own family around this Christmas tree. I know where he is. Let's go. <laughs> dude, you know what they need for Kevin? They need one of those backpacks that have a leash on the back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. <laughs> Nobody else in the family is. <laughs> Christmas, Mom. Merry Chrysler. Honda holidays. Where's everybody else? They're at the hotel. They didn't like palm trees either. Yeah, Florida in general. But he got the bed all by himself. Oh my god, imagine he was just getting dome under the cover. He was just getting slurped under the cover. So I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, wait, who the fuck left all this? It wasn't the parents. Peter! No. Are you sure we're in the right room? Not anymore. Any of mine, I mean it. Who's Mr. Duncan? Oh, Mr. Duncan came through, okay. Calm down, calm down, hey, hey! Stop trying to be an authority, shut up. Kevin hadn't screwed up in the first place again. Dude, I'm so done. Then we wouldn't be I'm in this most perfect and huge oh. hotel room with a truckload of all this free stuff. So That's what I thought. Then I'll go, and the rest of you, and so on. No, you can go last. All right, enough of this gooey sh show of emotion. Mm. All right, everyone, stick it. Decent save. <laughs> He's gonna give the second one to her, huh? Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Christmas. I got something for you. Aww. Have one. As long as we each have a turtle dove, we'll be friends forever. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it'll make me shed a tear. I won't forget you. Trust me. Never. Mr. McAllister's room service bill. <laughs> Oh my god, what's the total? Come on, give me the total, please. Please tell us. You spent $967 on room service! 
Mm. Okay, no, I mean, that is a lot. That's a lot. But I was expecting it to be like 10K, to be honest. 967 is definitely a lot. That was Home Alone 2. All right, that was Home Alone 2, another super wholesome Christmas movie. I had a lot of fun doing this one. I had just as much fun doing this one as I had in the last one. I would say this one was probably a little bit more fun because I was already familiar with basically the plot and everything. It's a really easy plot, obviously, but but you're just more familiar with it. So it's easier to get invested because you're like, you like the first one so much, you know what to expect for the second one. And yeah, it was pretty much the same exact thing, which isn't a bad thing. Like they stuck to the roots. They didn't try and change it. They just did it again. It's not like they tried to make it completely different. But yeah, I felt like the traps in this one were way more brutal. Like each one of them probably like <laughs> it's remarkable how they just come out completely un unscathed like no injuries at all no internal bleeding no broken ribs no fucking serious brain damage no head damage like but it's a movie so like whatever it's a wholesome movie so who cares like i know i said it a lot but honestly yeah like, trust me i don't care that they didn't get hurt or anything it, it literally doesn't matter it's just kind of like one of those things that's like do i do i point that out or not you know it was fun seeing him in new york and explore new york that was a cool twist on it but yeah we had the same bandits back in this movie too the but I feel like they're even dumber in this movie, dude. Come on. <laughs> like, they played into that part a little bit more for this one, to be honest. But the relationship he had with the pigeon lady, that was really wholesome, too. I think I like the other one better, though, with the old man. I don't know. I guess it's just, like, the first impression of that. The first time it's going to hit harder. As soon as, like, you kind of see, like, oh, he's afraid of the pigeon lady, you kind of know, like, oh, she's going to be the old man that comes through later in the end and they have a really good conversation later and they're actually cool with each other and they're gonna come through for him at some point in the movie it was still really good it was just predictable but it was really nice how he gave her the dove because you know she had nothing on christmas and that meant the world to her because like she said she hasn't had that many friends in a really long time and then the toy store owner mr duncan came through in the end giving everyone presents which was a pretty nice touch to everything too like him and kevin had a pretty good had a really solid moment in the movie too and, so, and like yeah the way they lost kevin in this I wouldn't say one side had more fault than the other. I would say it was 50-50 because, okay, look, they were in a rush. It was it was pretty irresponsible of the parents to not be, like, looking around constantly to make sure they had everyone, you know, every, co like, honestly, every 30 seconds, like, when you're rushing that fast in an airport. I think I get you're trying to get there hella quick, but you're still the parent. You still got to make sure you have everyone, you know? But then again, it is also Kevin's fault for falling behind because he had to change the batteries. You didn't need to do it at that exact moment. So it is on both of them, I would say. So it's a 50-50 in this one. Because like, yeah, they can't just have it be like the parents fucking fall again. No, you're going to you should lose your child after that point. <laughs> but yeah, that was Home Alone 2. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you like the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.